It's Kendall. I held a nigga down for two years, and a week after he got out, he fucked baby mama. <laughs> hey, my name is Jada. I was taking this nigga back and forth to work, and he was fucking his co worker. <laughs> Hey, my name is Kira, and I asked my baby daddy to watch my kid, but he said he's not a babysitter, and I still went back and fucked him. Woo! My name is Jay, so I went through to my nigga phone, and he was fucking my best friend. I still sucked his dick tonight. It's really a shame. You have a group of young women sitting around having what they call a confession session. They recorded themselves, and then they put it up on TikTok. Shout out to Lakinia who sent this in, who also couldn't believe this. At some point, all of this became acceptable and it's been passed down to these younger generations. A lot of young girls these days, they are really messed up. And yes, we definitely have the older ones to thank for that. You know, I talk about this all the time, how the older women, they fail the younger women. They didn't just become this overnight. They were programmed to be this way. And you know what? I have a perfect example of that. It's really disgusting. I'm gonna show you in a minute. But yeah, shout out to La Kenya. We're gonna go ahead and get into this. Take a second to make sure that you're subscribed to the channel. Click the notification bell for all updates. And if you're new, include new subscriber in your comment below. And I'm gonna try my best to respond to all of you. My name's Kendall. I held him down for two years. And a week after he got out, he fucked baby mama she held him down for two years he got out and messed with his baby mama first did she really hold him down for two years or was she messing around with other men while he was locked down second why are you messing with somebody that's locked down appears to be a younger woman and she's admitting to wasting two of her prime years on a guy that's in jail like Amaretta the Great or Rennie Rucci. You have Amaretta talking about marrying a guy that's doing so many years in prison. And then you have Rennie Rucci. She's showing everybody how she's holding her boyfriend down who's doing a prison bid now. Hey, my name is Jada. I was taking this nigga back and forth to work and he was fucking his co-worker. You see the things they'll do for the people they actually like? And you better believe there's no compromising for the next guy and you're gonna have to pay for whatever he did. Hey, my name is Kira, and I asked my baby daddy to watch my kid, but he said he's not a babysitter, and I still went back and fucked him. <laughs> The clapping and all that is very annoying. And of course, they're always willing to go back and mess around with their baby daddy. It's the same reason why they laid down with them and had a baby. And then they choose them to be fathers. My name is Jay, so I went through to my nigga phone and he was fucking my best friend. I still suck this dick tonight. Woo! That's another one. A lot of these women, they're attracted to men who cheat. They will know that a man has a wife or a girlfriend and they'll cheat with them. Believe it or not, some of them are so toxic, they don't even find men attractive if they're available. But if he's unavailable, they love it. Oh yeah, and then later on they complain about it. It's really sad where I see the young women at today. Look at all the horrible information that's being passed down to them from the rebellious baby boomers, Gen X women and now millennial women. You got 304 genealogy being passed down from generation to generation. Just like the family where the daughter was a stripper, her mama, her aunt, her grandmama, all strippers. Three generations of boom boom room bappas. She's got a little daughter and she said that she would even support her if she grew up and wanted to follow the same path. I mean, literally generations of 304s raising the new 304s. But yeah, it's just so bad today because everything is twisted. When I say it's inappropriate, it's not right, I get pushed back from everybody, men and women. Sad to say, but it's the truth. These older women with these independent woman mindsets, they're the ones who raise the current men and women of today. And now you have today's men and women who either threw out values in total or they never knew because their mama didn't raise them right. One or the other, but you have these people telling us what's right is wrong and what's wrong is right. Just very wicked. And no one cares about contaminating the younger generations. It's like they're doing it intentionally. Got another group of hyenas at a wedding. They walk into the wedding reception and they drop to the floor. It was so disgusting what they did. You have got to see it for yourself. Click the link below to see the video. I'm not going to play it here, but literally scrubbing the ground. The bridesmaids. You had crazy people commenting like, if you don't have bridesmaids like this, you're not lit. Or you need to drop them if they don't show out like this. I'm telling you, people are twisted. Doing all of that in gowns. No class whatsoever. This is a reception. Family and elders there. But worst thing ever though, they're doing this in front of the little kids. Look at the girls in their pretty little dresses watching them. These little girls are being programmed right in front of our eyes. As a little girl, you look up to the women, and when these little girls look up, do you see what they see? 
Shout out to AB. He sent this in, Anthony B. Brother, this one really hurt my feelings. Just looking at these little girls, looking at them. They have no shame. That's why they can do this at a wedding reception. That's why they can go on TikTok and say silly stuff all day. The constant oversharing and overexposing. And you see other women condoning this every day, cheering this type of behavior on. Or you'll see them arguing left and right, trying to justify it. I'm just really sick of it. If we go to the metaverse, I'm sure these 304s, they'll show up there too. Let's go ahead and get the conversation started below in the comments. I know I'm not overreacting, but you can check out the video for yourself. Link is below. Special shout out to Edmund. I appreciate you, Edmund, for your support for this channel. As well as Paul and Nuke. Thank you so much, Paul and Nuke. Dark Power and that guy, Terrio. Want to see more content like this? You can support the channel too. Links to Cash App and PayPal are below. Ladies, fellas, want a balance analysis, want the truth from a woman's perspective? Then you're going to want to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to like and share.